if you have a corner in your man cave, something really unusual, this tiger automaton is in next week's um, antique sale. Um, I haven't seen another one, but this monster here featured in the Antiques Roadshow uh, from Battle Abbey when it was uh, broadcast here last summer. This had a starring role, and here he is for sale in next week's antique sale. Um, I think he's estimated at 12 to 1500. Here he is, he wags his head and his tail, plugged into the wall, that's about it. <laughs> but but um, you'll never find another one. I'll unplug him before he starts smoking. And next to him is this Indian chair, if you just come around and have a look at this as well. Very unusual um, chair supported by a, a sort of a griffin. See the wings there of this chair made of hardwood, probably 19th century Indian, quite an unusual thing, probably going to be sort of two or three hundred pounds, and a very impressive Victorian club fender, so sit next to the fire here, we'll just have a look around and see what else is in the July sale, so we're both giving you a guided tour this time, plenty to point out this time. So here's a very good quality Edwardian um, desk. This is by Maples of London, has their maker's label inside the drawer there. It's mahogany with satin wood and it's a really nice elaborate serpentine front shape to that one as well. Very good quality furniture they make as well. And it has a pull out slide, top quality desk there. Next to it, very unusual item here as well, an Elizabethan executioner's axe. Still with the block included as well. So the plaque here says that it dates to 1558 to 1603. That's an interesting item as well <laughs> for the mantelpiece. I'll just keep going down, down to the front here and have a look around. Actually, this is nice. I picked this up from a local house um, last week. So Italian and just really nice small piece of antique furniture. Look at that, the door on that has this bronze plaque in, in the alcove on the door and then inside you have, uh, well, I think there are some, take these drawers out and it has a secret compartment behind here with a secret drawer on the inside and it has mirrors inside as well. An unusual thing. That's estimated at two or three hundred, I should think, but could, could make a fair amount more. This is just the sort of thing that people like to buy, something really unusual that's a talking point. So that's just a decorative object that should be very popular. And we'll keep going down here. Look at this. Ginormous cast iron. It's really heavy. It took nearly four of us to get this in here. It's massive. Garden bench with foundry marks marked on it as well, and green stained slats, really sturdy as well. Fantastic quality bench, really nice. And that one is in, I think, three to five hundred. Right. There's a selection of all the small collectible items. Lots of coins in this sale, actually. This cabinet here is full of very nice collection of coins that are best viewed on the website, really. But also in this time, there's lots of gold coins. So we have Krugerrands. There's a there's a it's a one ounce. Oh, that's a that's a hundred peso coin. That's a one Krugerrand, which is an ounce of pure gold. Uh, quite a lot in that one. We'll just have a look at all the cabinets here. Just interesting things to have a look at on the cabinets. Actually, there's a lovely decanter set here. Look at that. The quality of that. Cut glass, original bottles. It's a plated stand. A beautiful thing, isn't it? That's going to be 250 to 300, I should think. Another nice talking point hanging from the ceiling up there. Advertising ice cream cone. That one's vintage. And below it, this as well, a German Black Forest wall clock. 
and it's got its original pine cone weights. Lovely thing. What's just going on here? Now, there are some pieces of, there's a lot of silver this time, which Will has just catalogued, but some really nice things. Th those stood out to me. They're solid silver, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, they're both a matching pair. I think the hallmarks on these are, what's that? Um, oh, is it late Victorian? Yes, they are. They are, so they're going to be 1880s. But, um, what are they estimated at? Um, they're around 150 to 200 pounds. Wow, that seems nice cheap. for a pair. Ah, oh, these are beautiful. For some reason, these really stood out to me. They're far too delicate for me to use, but these are Edwardian Art Nouveau silver drinking <laughs> thimbles. They're absolutely tiny. But look at this coloured enamel around the base. Are they Walker and Hall? Mappin and Webb. Mappin and Webb. So these are about 1908. So over 100 years old. Can't imagine what you'd want to drink such a small volume. <laughs> but there's a set of six of those. Beautiful enamel. The original case as well. What's the estimate on those? They are, I think, in at about three to four hundred. Yeah. Really nice. Fifty pounds each. Set. Nothing, is it? Another unusual thing of silver up here. This is um, by a Thai company called Lotus Arts de Vive, and um, they make unusual animal-related items. And this one is. Um, see if you can guess what this. Um, this material is that the body is made from. It's an unusual one, but it's actually stingray leather, which is usually known as shagreen. Um, but these are really expensive, aren't extremely they? Extremely expensive. For retail, these are thousands, aren't they? Yeah, I think this particular model is probably between four and five thousand dollars to buy directly from their website. Here, it's um, around five to eight hundred. The auction. That's another unusual item, number two, which is a desk stand. So inside the car canopy, you have a, that's a, a blotter and a pen stand. And there's the inkwell, all tin plate, all in the form of a car. That's quite smart, isn't it? And more silver and, actually this is lovely, isn't it? This is the, um... oh yeah. Yeah, this is picked out from, um... A mixed lot that came in of all sorts of silver and plate and luckily managed to find really tiny marks on it and it's 19th century it's German and this is silver gilt and you've got a nice mechanism on the handle here if you squeeze the handle it opens up the top and again it's extremely bright gilding inside absolutely lovely as well I don't think there's a single crack in it it's Brilliant quality, yeah, <laughs> for that age. Two very nice Tunbridge Ware boxes here. This one shows Battle Abbey on the lid. So these were made in Tunbridge Wells. Um, that's in immaculate condition, a tea caddy with um, an inlaid lid. And while you unlock the door, there's another one here, which is a, uh, made by the same, well again in Tunbridge Wells. Again, immaculate condition. And there's Battle Abbey, which is nice. Um, over here, got a, a, this is actually made of spelter, but with a green patination, but it's Art Deco, so about 1930. But that's really smart, really statement, uh, a statement piece of sculpture there. Should be three or 400 pounds. And next to it is by Franz Bergman, who is a Vienna bronze um, sculptor or factory. And this is an original Bergman bronze. And they, they produced all sorts of um, well, thousands of models of, of bronzes. But they also went in for these, which are erotic bronzes. So this one has a hinged front to it. So reveal the uh, the naughty bit inside <laughs> for the the gentleman collector <laughs> but they're particularly sought after the erotic bronzes 
spotted this underneath it as well, it reminds me. This is Chinese silver and it's early 20th century, probably around 1900. And it's, it's called Chinese export silver, but it's a really fantastic quality bowl with embossed decoration all the way around of different animals and birds and fish. And that one's in at two to three hundred pounds. But again, the quality is all there in that one. And these are things just, we do see these quite often, and actually you can still buy these. Um, these are tourist pieces from the Pitcairn Islands. So these were always made by the descendants of the mutineers of the, the bounty. And this one, though, is quite a, a bit older than most. So this says a souvenir from Pitcairn Islands, home of the mutineers of HMS Bounty, landed 1790. But on the other side of this one, it does say who made this one. So um, it says by made by Lance Christian, great great grandson from Fletcher Christian of HMS Bounty. So it's slightly older than than usual. But, uh, that's quite an interesting thing, should be a couple of hundred pounds or so. I think that's quite a few things to look through, but I think the thing to do now is to have a look through some of the jewellery and watches, because there's an unusual, an unusually large amount of um, jewellery this time, which is best looked through on the website. But here's just a few of the sort of standout things that are worth a look through. It took a lot longer than usual to catalogue just because of the volume that we've had in um, since we've opened back up again and it's real nice quality things there's such a variation as well straight in here this is by Banana Republic who unfortunately recently went bust <laughs> but doesn't mean it's not good quality <laughs> but lots of celebrities have been seen wearing their jewellery um, obviously not enough <laughs> for them to stay afloat but um, all sorts of other bits here as well. A nice heart-shaped solitaire diamond ring. And down here as well, an aquamarine, which is very unusual. It's a, it's a cabochon, so it's a domed top, but actually the back of this one is faceted, which you'll be able to see online on the photos, but it's just an extremely unusual cut. And a few other nice aquamarines in the sale as well. One at the center here, which is... Um, has rectangular cut diamonds beside it as well. Most people would probably think this is a citrine. That, that's actually a, a yellow sapphire. That's really nice. And uh, what else? The tip off of a, a pencil or a pen with a seal end. Massive stone set to that one. And a few nice modern bits as well. This one's by Jensen, Danish sterling silver. That's crystal, crystal glass. And that's in its original box as well. That unfortunately is just paste. <laughs> uh, looked up these when, as soon as this one came in, in its original box, Stephen Einhorn, it's a London maker and this silver locket retails on his website for £1,200. That's in its original box as well, ready to go, hardly used at all. Another local jewellery uh, or jeweller to us is Peter Jenner up in Tunbridge Wells. I think he's in the Pantiles. And there's two items here in one lot of his. A nice palladium um, and gold moonstone ring together with a, a topaz bangle that he's made and all sorts of nice wristwatches as well which one's your favorite out of those on the, on the plate here classic rolex isn't it yeah that's 14 that's karat gold that one very clean isn't it yeah really desirable model that one and how much is that one and that one's in its uh, two and a half to two thousand eight hundred mm -hmm. But again, a very desirable model for that one. Nice ladies' solid gold Rolex as well, with a diamond bezel and diamond hour markers. No box to that one, but it's it is genuine. I prefer these. 
These are absolutely fantastic. If, if you've ever wanted a time to invest in a watch, now is your time. These, you say that every month. Yeah, <laughs> because we always get good investment pieces. It's uh, the place to come if you want to buy an investment piece. The first two lots of the watches section in our antique sale. Um, the first one here is an Omega. It's an Olympic version. This one was um, in circa 2008. So the Beijing Olympics. And you can see on the face it's got the the five Olympic rings there as well. But the retail price for those is probably five, between five and seven thousand, something like that. And that's in at two to three thousand with its original box, all of its papers, and the outer box, as if it was new. It's hardly been worn as well. So you can't get a better deal than that. A nice tag Carrera. Again, immaculate condition, perfect working order for both of those. And that one is in at, I believe, 1500 to 2000. Some really nice quality, lovely quality modern watches. You definitely have to view this one online. It's, um, it's amazing, there's so much to look through as well, a lot more than usual. So you really do take a look through and see what you can find. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>